everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am currently at Schiphol Airport and today is a very special and exciting day because today starts our big backpacking adventure in South America. So me and my boyfriend Rul are going on a backpacking adventure and today or tonight we are flying to Buenos Aires which is our first destination and I am so excited. This has been one of my biggest dreams for many years already. So I started thinking about wanting to do this trip already back in 2019, but then the pandemic happened and then I ended up moving to the Netherlands instead. And yeah, it's it's been a long time coming, but I am so excited that the day is finally here when we are going to South America for a big adventure and I can't wait to bring you guys along as well so I hope you guys are excited as well. So today we're flying with an airline called Air Europa. I have never flown with them before. It's a Spanish airline and we have a layover in Madrid but it's only a two hour layover so it's not too bad. So I think our first flight is about two hours long and then our second flight is 14 hours long. So yeah we have quite a long journey ahead of us but to be honest I don't mind at all I actually love long-haul flights so I'm super excited I always love it because you get your own little TV screen and you get served food and then you can just have a little movie marathon while eating and I don't know there's just something very cozy and fun and exciting about it and yeah we will be arriving in Buenos Aires tomorrow at 8 50 a.m. so in the morning but yeah soon it is time to board so let the South America backpacking adventure officially starts. I bought something little to eat. It got a bit smashed though, <laughs> but I bought uh, some mozzarella tomato sandwiches from the Albert Heijn and I also bought a green iced tea. So I'm gonna enjoy these still because I don't know when is the next time that we're gonna be eating. I do think we're gonna get served food on the second flight, but It'll be a while before that. Better eat something now. Cheers to the start of a new adventure. have landed in Madrid and we have about two-ish hours here so quite nice it's not too long but also gives us a bit time to walk around a bit stretch ourselves that kind of stuff boarding is just about to start it's currently 11 p.m. and I'm starting to feel really tired the past two nights I haven't really slept that well because I think I've been a bit excited slash nervous for this trip so I wasn't really able to sleep very well but hopefully because I'm tired it means I could manage to sleep a bit during the flight hopefully a blanket and a pillow and of course we all have our own little screens it's a bit tight maybe i do like the fact that these i don't know pillow things you can do this with so it's a bit easier to sleep especially for me sitting in the middle seat the next 14 hours this will be our home i guess <laughs>
To be honest, I'm not really sure how I liked Air Europa as an airline. I feel like the sitting spaces were smaller than what it usually is on a long haul flight. You had to pay an additional 3 euro fee for headphones in order to be able to use the TV screen. And on a 14 hour long flight, we only got served one meal with one beverage. And for breakfast, they only served a tea and a coffee. So it definitely felt like a bit of a low cost airline. So you could choose between chicken or pasta but I had actually requested a special meal beforehand. I requested the vegetarian meal and this is what I got. So it seems like I have some rice and some, I think this is some kind of tomato sauce or something, and then some veggies. And then there's two pieces of bread and some fruit. Cheers. I know people like to hate on airplane food, but I don't know, I kind of like it. There's something very cozy about it somehow. So far, I've actually been able to sleep surprisingly a lot. Currently, it is like, I think, 8 or 9 a.m. Dutch time, but like 4 or 5 a.m. what it will be in Buenos Aires. I think I slept at least like five hours or something, so not too bad. So we have arrived to our first accommodation of this trip. We are staying in a hostel but with a private room which is very nice. We've been able to freshen up a little bit. Um, I do feel very very tired and I have a bit of a headache because of it. But we are gonna try and stay awake until at least 8 p.m. So this way we can get into the new like time rhythm immediately. Getting from the airport to the city center was quite stressful to be honest and not so easy so we first tried to order a car through this app called cabify that someone had recommended to me but for some reason i couldn't get it to work and then i tried uber but then it kept rejecting two different cards then we tried to go with public transport and we were able to buy this like like a metro card basically but then we weren't able to put money on the card because you needed cash for that. So eventually we were able to get a taxi, but we had to pay in euros and it was quite expensive. We paid 35 euros, but yeah, after an hour of just trying to get to the city center and we were feeling so tired, we were just like, yeah, whatever. And the cab driver was really nice and friendly and he was really making sure that we got to the right place and stuff. So in the end, it was all good. But yeah, in the moment it was quite stressful and it felt like we we're never gonna leave that airport. But yeah, soon we're gonna go and exchange some money. So here in Argentina, because of inflation, there's a bit of a weird money situation right now. So what you want to do is exchange your money to something called the blue dollar or blue rate because if you take money out from the ATM you get much much less than what you do if you exchange it for this blue rate like more than half less like it's crazy it's it's a bit confusing but we've been recommended that the best way to get money is through western union and there should be an office close by so you send money to yourself and then you can pick it up in cash so i think that's what we're gonna do soon but yeah i think we're gonna relax for a little bit more try and not fall asleep though and then let's go and try and exchange some money
today is the next morning and yeah yesterday we were planning on trying to stay awake until 8 p.m but we failed um we were just so tired and overwhelmed and both of us had an awful headache eventually we decided it's better to just go to sleep than to torture ourselves we went to sleep at like 6 p.m and the downside with that is that we woke up at 4 a.m but at least we got 10 solid hours of sleep so that was very very much needed and today we have felt much much better which has been nice but yeah tonight we're gonna try and go to bed a bit later and try and ease in to the new rhythm but yeah yesterday was just it was impossible. So far Buenos Aires seems like a really fun city and I can't wait to explore more of it. But I'm gonna end this video here and explore Buenos Aires in my next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye!